Well, we have two of those herds that are um, of the registered kind, the paint and the quarter horses. And it's what Dayton Hyde, our founder, calls horses helping horses. We sell the offspring from uh, those two herds to help pay for uh, taking care of all these wild horses that Dayton has such a passion for. Uh, I told uh, some of the folks that we have 13,000 acres here now with a new lease. We have run about 500 head of wild horses. A big percentage of those are running off on the wild west side over here. Uh, you get to see those when you go on one of Dayton Hyde's uh, adventure tour like he's doing right now. He's up there uh, showing some people the, the wild side of the sanctuary. He founded this uh, 21 years ago. Uh, it's a 501c3 organization. If you want to donate, it can be tax deductible. Called IRAM, Institute for Range and the American Mustang. Dayton is quite a fa fella. He's uh, 84 years old now. Uh, has two artificial hips, but he's go, go, go. He's on top of everything. There's one in here that I really want you to see. I'll have to go in there and chase him out, I guess. There he is. Don Juan, settle down. Don't go back in there. They want to see you. They want to see you. They want to see you. Come on. Shh. Come on. Beauty. Isn't he a beauty? That's my favorite horse. That's Don Juan, folks. He is a true uh, Spanish Mustang. He goes back as close to those original horses that came in the Americas uh, by the conquistadors back in the 15th, 16th, 16th century. Uh, there were no horses in the Americas until the Spaniards and the Portuguese people started bringing them over. And he is almost a true representative of, of that. One of our more recent uh, shipments in of uh, a larger number of horses was what Dayton calls his Ford horses. Stephanie Powers got wind that the um, Indian reservations were shipping off a bunch of horses to the packing plant. Well, that story goes back to the federal government gave a bunch of wild horses to the Indian reservations with a really not neat program. They were going to have these young people learn how to train horses and learn those patience and confidence and all those neat stick skills that you could learn by working with animals of in that nature. Well, it wasn't thought out really well. They sent them a bunch of older horses. They were way, way too, even the most savvy horse trainer wouldn't have wanted to tackle training some of those horses. My goodness, are you in the wrong place? No, I think she's in the wrong place. She's supposed to be in that pasture there. She just came right through that fence like it wasn't she? there. She did. Yeah. She did, didn't she? Yeah, yep. she's supposed to be over that. I, I thought there was a fence there. She just ran right through. There is. <laughs> there is. The gate shut. There is a fence there. She must have jumped it. But that's her fault, is it? No. No, no, that's not hers at all. Well, there's there's uh, one of the most recent foals. That's another reason to come down here. Uh, last Friday, last Friday when I was out here, uh, that little guy was just being born. Placenta was still wrapped around his body. When, yeah, uh, I don't know. She has gone plumb berserk. There's the mother. There's the mother. stretched out of shape or anything on here. She's so wound up, I don't 
there's one tall post with a 